Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival and today we have a lot of stuff that I've done off camera and that is primarily because I was waiting around. So as you can see, the, be the behemoth is actually ready to be spawned in, which is lovely. It is a size unlock level 2. Oh, it's a size class 2. Why did I think it was size class 20? Well, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of uh, not too big, not too small, that sort of thing. Still got a little bit bigger than I thought it would though. Now while I was waiting, of course, I did some trading, I did some expanding here. As you can see, the hangar is a little bit bigger. This, don't mind this, this is, a, I was just using it to farm meat because I had nothing better to do while waiting around. I even did AFK for, at one point for a little bit, for like an hour, just to wait around. Um, but yes, she's finally here, and let's actually spawn her. Uh, she won't actually have a lot of, uh, a lot of fuel on her, if any. If I can even spawn her here. How about a little bit further up? Okay, there's another object in the area. Okay. Okay. She should fall. Okay. Maybe in space? Yeah, she does fall. Good. Now, she doesn't really have much fuel, and I'm currently building the ammo for her. And today, it is going to be time to purge the Xerax. Are we done with the ammo? Uh, more or less, more or less. You know, we can do it afterwards. Let's go get fuel first, and I can get the ammo afterwards on the way back. And I did actually prepare some stuff as well. Now, she's not really going to have much power. I Ah, I forgot to add a ramp here. Oops. Oops, kind of forgot about that. Certain things might not be... Oh, I'm pretty sure I painted that. That's not supposed to be with that paint. We'll take care of that later down the line. Now, we have... You know what? Let's first power up whatever. 2%. I did bring only a small amount of fuel, so yeah, it's understandable. So, as you can see here, this is going to be like an engineering bay. The colors are just mostly black and white, nothing too, too much. We have a bunch of, a bunch of uh, hangars here, a bunch of cargo containers. And this is this is stuff mostly that's going to be building ammo. That's why I'm not really transferring too many things. This cargo box? No? Okay, it's this one. And that's mostly, again, just for building ammo. Uh, let's see, do I have... Okay, I don't actually have Promethean pellets. That's the one thing I'm actually missing. So let's quickly go and get those uh, before I uh, do the tour of the ship. I, I was going to, but I forgot to get them, actually, because they're out here. They're still actually taking up room in uh, one of these portable ones. Uh, 2,000 are actually more than enough. In fact, 1,000 are more than enough, considering that uh, we'll mostly be building ammo at our base. Now, as you can see, this ship is relatively massive, but at the same time, it's not too, too big. It's just... I think it's the right size. I mean, there's a little bit of room left here, so I guess maybe I could have made it a little bit smaller, but... That's fine. Uh, the one thing we're missing, uh, we are going to need to actually uh, do this. So we're going to need an extra generator here. So something I did discover is that we do go into upwards of 100 uh, and 5% usage of the generators. So I want to replace that. And we need a warp drive because I kind of forgot it. We have two armory uh, armories here for no good reason because we need one and I really don't want to place one inside here. This is the one of the engineering bays. Actually, can I place... Um, so we have an engineering bay here and we have an engineering bay here, but this is like a tiny kitchen. It's just, you know, enough resources to just get you by. Can I? I can just straight up place you here. Well, I never thought about that. Now, these areas, you're not really supposed to be... Okay, okay, that's not good. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. There's like a ton of engines here. Jesus, can't even place... You know what? Yes, I can. I'm just gonna get out here. Again, that's an engineering bay. You're not really supposed to be there. there I don't know how to place the... Uh... Okay, that's sorry. That's I know what, what way that is. There it is. Like, I don't know how to place these engines so that they don't actually give off heat. I Okay, let me... okay that's better. Okay, and let me just quickly get off the heat stroke. <laughs> And steeze my way into oblivion. Alright, anyway, uh, as I was mentioning, as you can see, there's a little bit of glass here. Just for no good reason, except, you know, aesthetics. 
and uh, this is a long hallway, which I didn't want to fill up with stuff. I just wanted it to be like this. Like I, I, you could have like people here, or whatever, or, like statues. And this is the bridge. Uh, one chose to go with wood for no apparent reason whatsoever. And this is the behemoth. I don't have much power on it. On her. Oh, I was supposed to add an extra generator, right? I will. I will. Let's first go and get fuel. Uh, please fill with bullets. We will. As you can see, this uh, thing is a beast in terms of uh in terms of weapons so we have uh, four plasma cannons in front four laser turrets in the back everything is done in such a way that everything can shoot and we have eight cannon turrets when we do take down the shields we have eight cannon turrets and we have uh, four total missile launchers which is uh great this ship is extremely maneuverable as you can see i mean considering its size it is extremely maneuverable it uh turns on a dime okay we're actually very close I'm, I'm, i get my fuel from here because it's actually relatively cheap this is my refueling station and it accelerates extremely fast which is something i wanted in case of an emergency you can actually you know just accelerate out of there no questions asked it does hold a lot of fuel though and i will buy my pentex id here as well you know what 250 yeah sure i'm fine with it i did trade a lot so I'm fine. We have like, we had a lot of money. How much do I have? Yeah, 582. I had like over 600,000, but I actually bought Penta XID for Cortesia as well from here. So that's good. Hey, look at that. Okay, we might need an extra fuel tank. But you know what? That's actually fine. Considering this ship is really meant to just go into combat and then come back and just dock and be safe. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we'll have to turn on the shield so they start charging up. Uh, because, you know, we need them actually charged up to full. We are going to be attacking very, very soon. In fact, maybe in less than like a minute or two. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, the thing is, I couldn't actually fit any weapons, uh, you know, at the bottom. And the reason for that is there is apparently a limit. This is something I didn't know. This is something I uh, read on, I think it was Reddit. So there is a maximum amount, not just in terms of the turrets. So my game says that these cannon turrets, I can have 12. Uh, plasma laser turrets, I can have, for example, X amount. Uh, but uh, it, there is an actual cap on the total amount of weapons you can have. And that, I think that was like 21 or 22, and these are like 20. So I was like, yeah, there's just no point in me adding anything more. You know, we're good. And actually, speaking of which, I should... Devices, please. Uh, never mind, that's not even where I'm supposed to be. So I don't want these turrets to be attacking. Yeah, we have 20 turrets. Uh, to be attacking warp drives, uh, thrusters. I want them to be attacking this stuff. Actually, you know what? Ah, generators can stay. We want them to attack generators. We don't want them to attack predators. There's no point. Oh, it's just a waste of ammo. We have our fuel. Uh, okay, I needed to actually place one more of these puppies. Uh, so the reason is uh, the the engines do actually go above 100 uh, when you're fully maneuvering and your shields are charging they go above 100 i need to turn off the shields now uh, so i want an extra one of these and as you can see everything is on the ship is away from the walls the walls are too thick the explosion uh, of course they are a little bit over to this wall but i mean i can't really just leave empty walls everywhere I'm just going to leave it over here, ish, around here. This is fine. We have enough generators now. Let me actually turn on shields again, just so that they start charging. Uh, I'm going to need O2 as well. Let's not forget about that. Actually, before... I don't even need to, uh, like, leave. I can just go main base from here. And main container. Ammo box. There it is, ammo. I believe these are done. I did get some ammo from. Uh, we, we're not going to be getting reserve fuel. We're just getting reserve for ammo uh, in terms of construction. I should get, we do have a fridge. I should get a little bit of food here. Like not too much, like two or three burgers. I'm going to eat one. Even if I forget about them and they spoil, it's just three, so we're fine. Uh, what else was I going to do before we leave? I got the ammo. So I think we're good to leave, aren't we? Pretty sure. We got the crystals. Are we actually good to leave? I think we are. 
I mean, I installed the warp drive, I uh, installed the extra generator, and this is like a medical base slash ammunition <laughs> compartment. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it'd be funny to make it like this. Actually, I can turn off my light here on the vessel. So yeah, I mean, ah, right, I think I realize what I'm going to need. I'm going to need my heavy armor back because we are going to be going... Oh, hello, radiation storm. We are going to be going to attack. The first thing we're going to attack is there's one station left on the system. So that's the first thing we're actually going to attack. Actually, can I access the armory from here uh, in Cortesia? Oh, no, I'd have to access devices, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'll still have to go up. All right, let's go up. And Cortesia's just going to be stuck here. Uh, she's going to be powered on because, again, she's uh, a, what we would call a generation ship. I think. I think that's the proper term where, you know, you just basically live on board of it. So I want... which heavy armor? Oh, don't have much of a choice. It's this one. I'm just gonna take it like so. Actually, does this thing have armor boost, jetpack boost, insulation boost, armor boost? Okay, so... I should take another armor. This one should remain there. Power up the dinghy. One big dinghy. The reason I'm not landing the dinghy inside the hangar is because I'm using it a lot actually currently, so I'm just leaving it over here. Just powering it off. Plus there's no actual attacks. I even built a, a solar panel array over there. I'm not entirely sure if anybody noticed it while we were flying. But let's see how, how it's doing. Yeah, we're actually getting battery because we have uh, is it 10 solar panels here, so we're actually gaining some battery in terms of capacitor. Uh, which will save us a little bit of fuel here and there, yeah. Not much, but it'll save us a little bit, so that's fine, you know, anything it saves us, that's good. Right, I wanted to get an extra heavy armor as a backup plan. Heavy armor, there it is, there she be, All right. And while we're here, just going to very, very quickly, oh, I need oxygen, that's what I was going to get. Oh, I didn't actually click that, oh. Uh, I'm actually going to take, like, half of these. I mean, I don't really need all of them anyway. My base does have power. Okay, just just double checking. And it, yeah, so the ship does have a couple of dead spots. Like, for example, the sides are not very powerful and the bottom is absolutely undefended. But it is extremely maneuverable, so I should be able to keep, to keep the uh, everything in range, basically. Okay, so let's go into oxygen tank and let's... Let's Cretasia, whoops. And Behemoth, there he is. Oxygen tank. Not the main base, please. Yeah, well, that's half left, so I'm fine. We're just gonna place him in here. Again, this is just the storage. The storage is there for no good reason. I had nothing else to put there, so that's why it's there. All right, we're gonna use this, and let's go attack a station. And if we have time, we're gonna go and uh, get rid of that emirate class cruiser or whatever it was for now though wait a minute why can't i lift up what did my game crash i think my game crashed no it did. oh okay wrong chair absolutely the wrong chair okay let's go shields are shields are at full so i'm just going to turn them off for now we have orbital productions here and of course all the weapons do actually go down not entirely sure if there's a hotkey for this. I hope there is. I should try and find out. But yeah, look at that. It's not the most beautiful thing in the whole universe, but it is deadly. It is absolutely deadly. I've tested it out, actually. Of course, it was versus an immobile ship, but I don't know how to actually make a ship fly with an AI, so there is that. And the problem I have... Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but when you exit a world, even if you go like, for example, in this direction, I'll still head, for example, upwards until I like come to a full stop and then go to my direction. I'm not entirely sure. This started happening recently. So I basically just can't press I to turn off the thrusters to go there. But anyway, uh, we're going to very quickly go there and I'm going to actually try and find out if there is an actual sh hotkey shortcut for uh, the weapons, yeah. Right, we are nestled two kilometers away from the orbital production, and we're gonna turn on our shields, turn on our weapons, 
And let's go for, take her out for a spin. Okay, so I do actually want to save the template before I do anything else because we did do some adjustments, like add the extra, you know, generator, add the warp drive. So this should be also okay. Now my weapons aren't actually reloaded, but they will as soon as we get in range. And generally, this should be my firing angle, just slightly tilted so that everything can fire. As you can see, the ship is extremely maneuver. Look at that! Look at that! This thing that doesn't actually have shields. This would have been easy to take down with Bluebird as well. We're just straight up going for generators. Yep, I think that was it. I think we just powered it off. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> now this thing had defenses. What? Right, where am I supposed to go through? And the good news is because the. Uh, thing is, uh, the sh you know, the, the cockpit is so far forward, I can actually view through the window. Which means it'll be easier for me to find certain things, like landing pads, and where they are. Unlike with Cretasia, which is uh, way far back. Yeah, I think we just destroyed generators. I did let him target generators, so. Where's the, supposed to where's the landing pad supposed to be? Okay, well, I don't want to go through the hole. Because there's a, a certain way to do these, but these points of interest. I have a feeling like it's through here. So I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave her here. Let's go. Why is this door open? That door should be automatic. Okay, it doesn't automatically go down. What? Why? What? Why? Like these do, that one doesn't, they're the same doors. No well, more or less. They're from the same block. Alright, well we made quick work of this station, and we have our weapons just aiming at it just in case it uh, decides to do anything nasty. Ah, let me turn on the light. Let's see where the entrance is, where the proper entrance is, I should say. It's probably here, isn't it? Like, look at the amount of turrets. I mean, good thing we went for the generators, huh? I mean, yeah, these weren't gonna do any damage to, uh, me. Oh, you know what? The ship doesn't have cores! You know, it's fine. We're not here for... for anything but the alien containers, which, there they are. I wonder, as well... I'm just gonna put everything in this cargo box. I wonder, as well... Uh, if I turn off the generators, will that turn off the NPC spawners? I hope it does. That's gonna save me a lot of hassle. Oh, that's a big, beautiful... Oh, that was like only a cannon. Uh, projectile turret, wasn't it? Did we destroy the core or did we not? Why didn't I bring any cores? I'm an idiot. Well, I'm seeing absolutely nothing, so can't really complain too much. I'm um, cold? Really? Really? We, we don't have- oh right, we don't have an EVA boost on this one. Yeah, I think the generators turn these on and off as well, the spawners. Alright, the thing is that I'm gonna actually have to go and get the light armor because the light armor has the EVA boost. Unless, if I close this... No, it's still at negative 670, 60. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting too cold, so where did I leave? There she is. Uh, yeah, 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 we're getting back in. Don't worry, don't worry. We can't actually- Ah, actually, I might be able to build a core. We have enough iron, copper, and silicone. Then I might be able to build a core. Come on, get it. And I can actually power off my jetpacks here. Can I, or can I not, build a core? Let's see. It's supposed to be here, right? Okay. I can! Nice, okay. So it's just gonna take a little bit longer because I don't have the stuff. Which I'm fine with. Alright, where did I leave the light armor? There it is. Leave the heavy armor over there. Take a little bit of food, just making sure that I'm, uh, topped up. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get stuff from, you know, from that ship. That ship, from that production. Come on, you're not ready yet? Oh, you're almost ready. We can get you on the way out, that's fine. 
I love how if you don't have the jetpack turned on, you'll just fall because this thing has a gravity generator. Okay, there it is. Alright, let's see. Can I or can I not place a core in you? I cannot. Wrong faction. Does this actually say Xerox on it? No access possible. Wrong faction. It must still have a core attached, okay. I'm fine with that. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, did I loot all these? I think I did. Yep, I did. Just place all the stuff in here. It'll be usable by one of my many shops. But, I'm sorry, but this station was basically just easy. It, this wasn't a test for this ship. Absolutely not. Hello, explosives. Absolutely not. In fact, I should probably just remove these so I don't get confused. Oh, I can't! Is this the way out? Okay, this is the way out from the other side. So, how am I supposed to go down? Where is the down? There it is. There's a down and there's an up. And, oh hello, there's a container here, isn't there? No, it's a core. Okay. Right. So the core was still alive. That's fine. But now it is not. I'm actually just gonna place my core somewhere around here so I can extract it afterwards. Now, let's see. So we have many alien turrets. We have several cargo boxes. Not a lot. Eh, so that's not gonna yield. I already looted two of them, so... Hmm. 441. Yeah, not bad. Do we have, we have fuel, we don't have generators anymore because I got rid of them. And we have, okay, a nice amount of oxygen, you know, can't complain about that, can't get any more though. Why is mine, why is mine gray? Shouldn't it be green? That is so weird. They're all green, why is this one gray? That is so weird. Uh, flares, equipment, let's see anything interesting, benches, consoles. A gravity generator. Okay, so there's actually nothing interesting here. Except for, uh, you know, potentially, potentially, uh, any alien containers. I guess I could take a gravity generator with me. And I don't need medical devices. I have way, way too many of them. Hmm. Okay, so I blew a hole through here, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, so I looted these. I'm just checking if there's any hidden alien container over there. Oh, is that the whole station, really? Really? I'm barely believing that. But... But I am believing it. Except for this part over here. Oh, this is just trust blocks. Oh. Oh, was, was that it? That is a little bit disappointing. I thought there was going to be more stuff. Alright, so this is just like a projectile turret, wasn't it? Even though it's a laser turret here, but as soon as you get it, it's a projectile one. Yeah, which is very disappointing. It's not worth the hassle, to be honest. Mm, well, oh well. I mean, I go through here with that, that's the elevator. So there isn't really much. Yeah, this is uh, just just the point is just not. All right, well, let's go get my the core back. I guess I could leave it. It doesn't really matter. The thing is, I'm afraid that there might be like a, a maximum amount of buildings that I could have, so I kind of want to get it back. And I'm I will take these. Even though sentry guns are really cheap and easy to build. Are these combats? No, they're not. No, they're not. And that's the top. Oops. I thought it was uh, another place that I haven't visited. Even though these are cheap and easy to build, I want them. Well, I don't care about the alien containers now because there was only two of them. Yep, didn't get the stuff back, but that's fine. We can just make more cores if we need to. 
All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Right, and next time, is that, yeah, that's a laser turret as well. I really wish you could get a laser turret out of these. I mean, they're not too expensive to manufacture, but still, it's a little bit disappointing. Oh, this thing has a companion cube attached to it. That's new. <laughs> that's interesting. I've never noticed that. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing because it says laser turret and you get a projectile one. Eh, I think I'd rather get materials, at least half the materials for a laser turret than get a projectile one. Just a little bit disappointing. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the behemoth. Actually, I wonder if there's something in here. Or did I dig here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. This is where the uh, trust blocks are. Uh, these are still only hardened steel. Nothing's actually combat steel. And that is really something I need. I actually used up like seven or eight hundred of combat steel that I had for this ship, and that was still not enough because combat steel uses safium. So I still didn't have enough safium. This thing is all combat steel blocks, by the way. There isn't anything that is not a combat. Even these interior walls. Everything is combat steel. Everything. I wanted to make sure that this ship does not suffer from some of the design flaws, even though it does have design flaws. I will admit that. It ha we're, we're not talking about the dead zones. I knew that this ship was going to have dead zones as soon as I built it like this. It does have design flaws. Like, for example... You can't really enter this area. You don't need to, but you can't. Because immediately you're going to get, yeah, 900 degrees Celsius. Which is lethal, believe it or not. Uh, and that is because we have so many engines sticking out here. Again, you're never supposed to be here because there's nothing in here for you. But in case you do need to do any repairs, you're going to have to do them via drone. Because 900 degrees Celsius. And some stuff are still next to the walls. Like, for example, the warp drive. I believe the explosion radius is 4. I read it somewhere that it's 4. Uh, this one might be less or more. This one's 3. This one's 3 as well, but I'm pretty sure on the missile turrets it said 4. So, it's only 2 thick. I didn't want to make it 4 thick because that'll just basically be just blocks. I still wanted it to be, you know, a little bit. You know, a little bit of an aesthetic. You know, not too much, but a little bit. It's mostly weapons. Mostly engines for maneuverability. We have, of course, a RCS and uh, generators. Because why not? I can actually turn off the power for now. Uh, to the uh, shields, of course, is what I'm referring to. In fact, we're actually going to do this as well because I find it fun to do it. It's worthless, but I do find it fun to do it. And you, you, you would never know that it has weapons even though I've actually <laughs> painted white around them, but... It is a little bit funny, the way it looks. Look at that. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of proud of the ship. I wanted to actually have a slightly different design, but again, I, I rushed it a little bit so I can get it out quicker. Yeah, so instead of normally me taking, let's say, a week, half an hour, yeah, you know, every day, more or less, if I have the time. Sometimes if I have the time, I'll spend like two hours. Uh, but it's rare nowadays, especially after I started work. Uh, but if I do have the time, you know, I'll I'll spend a decent amount of time actually building uh, building a ship that I like. But this was a little bit rushed. It still turned out really well, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it still did. It looks a little bit like a fish. There was a fish that looks like this, wasn't there? Like this specifically. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a fish. I just noticed. Oh, well, for now, though, I'm going to end things off here. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Imperium Galactic Survival, and I do hope to see you all in the next one, where we will clean out the Xerxes.